Hey everybody, Sherry Gauthier here. Listen, I wanted to take a moment to update you on the Facebook changes that came out of the 10th annual conference that Facebook held at the beginning of May. The changes do affect some of the strategies you will want to use for your Facebook marketing. Number one, groups. If you haven't considered using a closed group for say a customers, I would encourage you to look into that. Number two, Facebook stories. If you haven't looked into how to incorporate stories into your marketing strategy, please take a few minutes, go under the help section in Facebook and learn how to do that. And lastly, your business page. You know, the content is very different now between what you might use on your Facebook business page versus your group. So let's start first with your group. Your group is going to be where you spend a lot of your time. Make sure that your group has customers. Those are people who have purchased from you. If they haven't purchased from you, please make sure that you ask if they have another consultant before adding them to a group. And of course, ask for their consent to be added. On the group is where you want to share about how to save the environment, how to reduce plastics, how to clean XYZ, your product information, your product launches, live streams of cleaning in action, before and after cleaning graphics. Groups will get more news feed views than anything on your business page these days. So we want you to make sure that your how-to valuable information is being seen by your customers in that newsfeed. Now, when it comes to the business page, this is where the content differs now. Number one, you can save yourself some time and be posting only three to four times a week. And this is where you put your why Norwex. You know, the how to use the product is over on your group, but why Norwex? And remember, a great place to look for that kind of content is our Norwex Movement website. The blogs there are fantastic. You've got an area where you've got quizzes and a safe haven home that walks them through the chemicals found in each room of the house. So again, I would encourage you to have more general content like why they should be concerned about chemicals, why they should be concerned about the amount of plastic, current trends that impact the environment and our earth. You know, the whole idea is that we want to save the cleaning hacks and the product information for those groups. Again, Facebook made it very clear. Zuckerberg said with over 400 million active users in groups, he wants the focus and the value to be there. Okay, so that was just a summary. Lastly, on your business page, I want to show you how to set up your shop. So for many of you along the left hand side, you'll have your tabs, but you'll notice that there is no shopping tab. So you're going to come over to your settings area. You're going to come down to your template and tabs, and you're going to actually have to add your shop tab. Now, again, many of you will not have it underneath as a standard option. So just come in to add and find it to add it to your page. When you're done, you're going to come back over to the page, open up that tab, and it will actually ask you to accept merchant terms and policies under Facebook. This will open up two options for you. One is message to buy, and this lets people send you messages to ask questions and arrange for manual purchasing. The other that I recommend though is check out on another website. This is compliant because as you'll see, we'll be able to set up your replicated website links to your Norwex website. So I've picked Canadian dollars since I'm in Canada and I really am going to start simply by adding products. Now I am going to grab the photos off of the website and I'm going to add the pricing and information. So I went ahead and did that and you'll see that immediately it adds my first product. So I might recommend that you add, you know, your Safe Haven 5 number of 5 products the same way. You can use the videos off our YouTube channel or of course go to Flickr and select some cute videos so that you can use a video as well as maybe a graphic to showcase the products within your shopping area. 
It is compliant because when they click the checkout on website, it takes you to your replicated website where their purchasing will happen. So it's easy peasy. And again, I would simply add some more products. I wouldn't go crazy and add all of the catalog products, but I would certainly add probably the top 10 and as well as your favorites. So again, add a photo, add a video, the name of the product, the price, the description is from your website, and that URL is the link for that product on your website. Two really quick updates. I wanted to be sure you knew that we did a training about how to convert your Facebook parties over to Squee parties. So make sure you check that out. And another one is a super user tip about having a monthly Squee party. You won't even believe the results they're getting there. So I've included the link here for the training. Be sure to check that out. Thanks so much, everybody. I hope these Facebook marketing strategies help you out and take care for now.